So I apologize if that was like all just a super long like drone on about my experience, but the bottom line is that the products are amazing if you can live through the customer customer service aspect, the shipping aspect, and, and all of these other horrendous situations. So I'm gonna kind of jump in, talk about like all of the things that I got. You already know my feeling about like the hoodie and the quality and what I received on that end. So we're gonna push that aside. Um, I do wanna talk about like, obviously I have an embarrassing pile <laughs> of skin frost sitting here. The black one, of course, being the collab that he did with Manny MUA, which was amazing um these are the other four shades that i got previous to this release the or not this release i'm sorry the new 2017 chrome collection release i just dropped a lip scrub but i picked these up in the shades maybe i'll just show you so these are the various ones that i had prior to the collection again this is eclipse the one that he did with manny mua which is just gorgeous i'm not going to swatch these because there are so many but i just wanted this i wanted to do this i wanted to show you guys like physically what i purchased because there are so many haters on the internet that are like girl i don't even believe you made these purchases blah 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 and it's like yes i did proof is right here and so these are the other like four regular skin frosts that I had picked up. This is Princess Cut. And these shades, you guys, are amazing. I mean, Peach Goddess, like, yes, yes, they're gorgeous. I've used these on my lids. I've used them on my cheekbones, my brow highlights, everything. This is the shade So Fucking Gold. And yeah, that's actually what it's called. Not just swearing for the hell of it. Like, so amazing. I love his shade names. Oh my God. Okay. And then the last one I had picked up was the shade Ice Cold. And if I can just say, that is, this is my favorite. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's so gorgeous. Like, such a little, it goes so long. I just... I love his highlights. Yes, okay, they do texturize my skin a little bit. They leave it like you can definitely see a lot of the texture, but part of that, I mean, that's my face. You know, you can't you can't hold a highlight responsible for being like, oh, you show texture. Well, like, girl, you got a textured face. Like, that's not your fault. So I had picked these up in that order. I picked up various liquid lipsticks that I'm not gonna get into, and I had also picked up, oh my good Lord, I would also picked up some of his Velour Liquid Lip Scrubs. I think I picked up the Strawberry and another one. Amazing. Oh my god. Okay, so if you're ever in the market, which if you wear lipsticks at all, you're in the market for a lip scrub and you just don't know it, try his lip scrubs. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with his lip scrubs. I, I can't. Like, I use them every night. I don't even need to. And I'm just like, hmm, better scrub my lips. But, you know, maybe I'll do it twice today just because I feel myself. I'm, I'm feeling my lips. And I love them. They're so good. They taste amazing. All of his products are, like, cruelty-free. His lip scrubs are actually... It says on the side of them, extremely yummy, edible, vegan, cruelty-free. And all of his products are cruelty-free and vegan, I believe. They are so great. His um, liquid lipsticks are, like, safe for your whole face, your eyes. They're not going to hurt you. Um, and I loved his attention to that detail. He had said that because so many of his followers and things were vegan, he wanted to make sure that he put out a product that all of his fans could really cohesively enjoy. So I was, I really appreciated that. I mean, I'm not a vegan, but I still appreciate it for the uh, people that that would mean a lot to. I mean, I have a lot of friends that are vegan, and I know that that would be a serious deal breaker for them. So that was awesome. Um, I also, in that order, picked up, yeah, I know what you're thinking, and yes, it was a large order. Um, I also picked up his two um, eyeshadow palettes, Beauty Killer and Androgyny. And Beauty Killer, I will show you, I have went in on some of these. I've went in a little bit more on Androgyny than Beauty Killer, but like so beautiful. His shades are ultra pigmented, you guys. Like I'm obsessed with these. I will probably hit pan on this gold shade up here, which is the shade Frosting. I'm obsessed. It is the softest. Like, I've never felt a shade. Where's that highlight at? I have never felt a shade like this. Like, it's just straight velvet. I'm obsessed with that shade. It's so beautiful. That was a horrible swatch, and I apologize. But it was, it's just so beautiful. I wear it all the time. And I just love this, all these matte colors that he put in. This is the Androgyny palette. They're so pigmented, so blendable, amazing. You can tell that that man knows what he's doing when it comes to cosmetics because his stuff is not garbage. Like he doesn't put out like cheap, nasty, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm just going to put in what I have. When he said that he went all in and he invested all of his money into himself, he wasn't kidding because he did an amazing job. And like, I don't regret any of my purchases on his website and that says something because there's always at least one thing that I'm kind of like eh not with him boo-boo not with him so I'm gonna jump in now that we've like ran through some of that which it doesn't seem like running because this video is already like four hours long but I do want to jump into the 2017 chrome collection he did release 
three liquid lip scrubs or liquid velour liquid lip scrubs or whatever you call them. Sorry, I had to pick that up because, you know, don't want to not have it. Um, all of his packaging for the 2017 summer collection came in like this beautiful, like chrome reflective just packaging on this is just phenomenal. Um, but I, I picked up everything that he released because I really wanted to try it. Um, he came out in three shades. This is what the packages look like. Um, and then if you open it up, they're each a different color based on like what they are. But this is orange soda. And when I tell you that I can smell the carbonation, like I'm not kidding. And they taste so good. And my, the, he also released the blue raspberry sucker and watermelon gum. And I'm telling you, watermelon gum is legit watermelon gum. And this blue raspberry sucker is my absolute favorite. Like... Oh my God, it tastes or it smells like a blue raspberry sucker, like popsicle. And look at that blue. And I'm just, I'm telling you, like, I can't, I just, oh my gosh. I know what you're thinking, but they are edible. They don't hurt you. Um, they are the ingredients. Like I even read through and I'm just like, wow, there's like nothing bad in these. Awesome. And they're just so delicious. They make it. So when you scrub your lips, you're just like, Ooh, I get a little treat. <laughs> Hot damn. And so I showed you those two. I guess I might as well show you the watermelon gum. Um, my favorite is the blue sucker. My least favorite is probably the orange soda. Oh, but my gosh. Okay, so that's the watermelon gum. Legit smells like watermelon gum. Mm. And tastes delicious. I know, I'm so weird, but wow. I feel like that taste is like, I'm just, how did you do that, Jeffrey? Jeffrey Star, how did you do that, honey? Because, oh, boo-boo, so good. Okay, so we got all those out of the way. They're amazing. They really do do a great job of like removing the nasty on your lips, soothing them out. I love them. I use mine every night. I'm still working through the strawberry one that I bought with my first order. Um, and they go, they last forever. I'm just like, okay, I've literally been using that for like two weeks and I've like moved a tiny little bit. They last so long, which is amazing. Um, if so, if I can stop eating them, they'll last me a long time. Now we're going to move in to the highlighters next. I did pick these up in the two shades that were available. Plus again, they sent me this extra one that I, I paid for. So that's great. Hopefully customer service, we can get this worked out. But these are the two shades that were released. Um, this is Summer Snow Cone, which is just like a gorgeous gold situation here. And then this is Crystal Ball, which actually has almost like a shape shifter situation. I'm gonna swatch them on my forearm. That's a horrible swatch. Paige, where did you learn to swatch? On my wrist. I don't know if the light's gonna cancel them out or not, but they're just beautiful. I mean, his... I feel, I feel like the formula for these were a little bit more crumbly than the last ones, but I mean, still nothing that when you, cause I always apply his highlighters when I, I like spray a brush and I put them just a little bit damp. I feel like it helps lessen the texture effect for my skin, which is just like a personal thing. But I mean, I love them. They're so gorgeous. And all I think of is like, how easy is the, okay, calm down. How easy would it be for this gold one right here to just like pop in a little bit of like a brown crease color, throw that all over the lid and like you're done. And I just, I love, I love his highlighters. They're all, they're beautiful. They always have been beautiful. That's never going to change. I don't, well, I mean, it could change if he sacrificed, but it's not going to. So now let's get into the real tea, the real deal, the real love of my life, which is the 2017 lipstick vault. This packaging, you guys, I don't know how people, like my mom goes, Paige, you're never going to use all those. And I was like, challenge accepted. Woo, girl, you better work. I'm obsessed with these shades. Um, I was going to swatch them on my lips for you, but I really don't feel like, sorry, I'm going to get highlighter all over my boob again, but I really don't feel like that would be a like good situation for his brand because if I'm being 100% honest, sometimes when I apply my lipstick, I look like um, a drowning dog. I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. and it's just like a situation that like probably best to not do on camera. Why did I not put on a Jeffree Star lipstick while I was doing this? Wow. Anyways, God, am I like way off track today. I do want to go ahead. I'm going to throw these probably on my arm so you can see what they would look like on your skin tone. Um, again, I can do lip swatches if you guys really want them. I just cannot guarantee that they will look good because whew, when I do my lipstick, sometimes I told you this before, I got crooked lips. So I end up going like a little bit of this and then, and then like I keep checking and it takes like 45 years for me to do my lips sometimes. Other times, like today, just went on and it just like perfect. And I was just like, 
why can't you ever love me like this any other time face? But to be fair, my brows went on like shit today. So I mean, you know, the, the universe has a way of balancing out my life. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to unpackage these sexy little devils. Oh my God, like how? I'm, I'm just obsessed. I love everything about this. I love the package. I'm a packaging whore. I love packaging. And I know like it's just like, oh, you pay for the packaging or like it's just what's on the outside. But I feel like presentation is so important. Like if you think about it, presentation is really all that sets apart like even like dishes that you eat, you know? Th think about if someone were to take and just like blend up your burger and fries and then throw it in front of you like slop. Which way would you rather eat it? That way? Or like the burger and fries all pretty with like all your little condiments and all your little goodies. You'd rather eat it like the pretty way because my mama always taught me that you eat first with your eyes and I ate this up with my eyes first girl. So I'm going to go ahead. There is all of these and all of these that are the liquid lipsticks. So the top and bottom row here and then the middle are the lip ammunitions where, which are just like his roll up regular standard lipsticks. So I'm going to go ahead. I will probably start with the liquid lipsticks and then we will move into swatching these bad boys. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the shade Butt Naked, which is coming off a little more orange on camera, I think. It's like a really nice peachy. I would say it's like more orange toned, but definitely more of like a peachy orange than straight orange. But this is the shade Butt Naked. The next one is the shade Calabasas, which is amazing. Favorite life-changing shade. Would cover myself in it. Gorgeous. The next shade right there is Venus Flytrap. Only Jeffree Star could put out a lime green lip color and have it be acceptable. So these things are so pigmented, I actually have to like not go back here because they're giving me like, they're not coming right off. Like the pigment's actually settling into my skin. So I'm gonna have to swatch on my hand for like a hot minute. So the next shade is the shade Hunty. Anyone else good at like describing lipstick colors? Cause I'm not, I'm just like brown, yellow, orange, primary colors. <laughs> Purple shade, y'all, and I mean it is a purple shade, and the shade name, you better work. And girl, if you're gonna pull this color off, yeah, yeah, you better work, because I tell you what, woo hoo hoo girl. This next one, you guys, is in the shade Flamboyant, and it's like a metallic-y kind of finish on like a nice coral pink peach color. I'm living, I cannot wait to do this. And then this last shade, you guys, is in the shade Candy Ass. It's definitely more of a sheer, I mean, you can see the sheen to it, but even as I was putting it on, like I had to build that up a little bit to really make it so the camera would pick it up. But we're gonna move on to the regular lip ammunition lipsticks. Um, these are, of course, just like the regular, they come and they look like a bullet, which I just think is like the coolest packaging ever. That same like chrome shine, gorgeous, situation that is Jeffree Star packaging. Um, this is the one that I've already opened and worn. This is the shade Skin Tight. Next one is in the shade Star Witness, right? Yeah, Star Witness. This next one down here is in the shade Birthday Suit. Probably the creamiest of them so far in my opinion. I love this shade. This is like a really nice just nude shade. There are so many nude shades that he released in this collection and I'm just I'm living for them because who doesn't love a good nude? This girl loves a good nude. This next one down here is in the shade Birkin Suede. Very, very light brown nude. Very nice creamy like the last one. And then this last one right down here is in the shade Thickest Thieves. Nice dark brown, almost has like a purple undertone hue to it. But oh my gosh, still so beautiful. These are all the regular lip ammunitions, which again are the regular twist up lipsticks. And just look at those, oh my gosh. Okay, so I hope that this helped. I hope that it kind of like clarified. I'm probably actually going to split this into two videos, like my experience with Jeffree Star Cosmetics and then like this collection, because this collection by itself was a huge, beautiful release and I want it to like get all of the attention that it deserves because it was amazing and I don't want like my experience with the customer service side of things to overshadow it in any way. Um, so as of right now, I will honestly say I recommend everything from that line, which is I recommend his eyeshadows. I think that they are amazing, blendable, pigmented, like everything you could imagine. I love his highlights. I do think that they can get a little crumbly texture type situation going, but I still love them. They're still worth it to me. I just wet that brush, honey, and I just put them on my face because I love me a blinding situation. The velour liquid lip scrubs are just like the best thing ever. You can just like grab a spoon and just like eat them. They're fantastic. I don't recommend that, but they are 
amazing. And that vault, which I can't pick up again because it'll fall everywhere, but I'm obsessed. I love the way that he packaged the vault. I love every lipstick in here. I even love the crazy, like, fun colors because, I mean, you could do, like, the purple on the outside and create, like, an ombre with that lime green if you wanted to. I mean, there are just so many fun options, and I love them, and I love how wearable he made them. Like, these are totally office acceptable colors for me. Like, business owners, I can't be wearing lime green every day, but I sure as hell can be like, ooh, I got on some candy ass. Like, I, you know, you can find a way to make them work. And I just, I love his liquid lipstick formula. I love the packaging, the presentation. All of it was amazing. So, like I said, this will probably be like part one or part two of the whole situation that I filmed because I've been filming for almost two hours. So... That was a hot minute, but I'm going to go and I hope that this was useful. I hope that you guys, you know, take my recommendations just for exactly what they are. I hope that this kind of helps show you my skin tone. If you're super, super pale like me, how they will wear on your skin. The only thing, like I said in my previous video that I can't recommend or don't recommend is the merchandise, like the, the hoodie that I got. I can't recommend that because the one I got was like used or really low quality or something. And the customer service, like I just pray that whatever you order gets to you sooner than mine got to me. And I hope that when you email them, I like I emailed them, what, probably four, three, four days ago. And I still haven't heard anything back. But other than that, I love the line. I love everything about it. And I hope that this was helpful to you guys. And I'm going to go because this is long and drawn out enough. And that's all you guys. Social media handles, everything down below. Comment, like, subscribe. If there's ever anything you want to see, let your girl know. Holla at your home girl. Um, if you're like, hey Paige, I really want to see what these colors look like. Will you put them on Instagram? Follow me on Instagram. Let me know that you're over there. I will swatch them for you. I'll take some pictures. I will put them on Insta. Whatever works for you guys. Like, we will figure this out. We will get a situation where it benefits both of us, okay? We can work through this, you guys. Whew. I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!